Welcome back, everybody. Today, for this lesson, we're going to be focusing on a couple of different special kinds of equations. Uh, these are ones that you won't see very often, but I want you to be aware of them because you will see them occasionally, especially when we move back into graphing, when we move in back into slope. And those are equations that either have no solution, infinite solutions, or if you see a proportion. So I wanna get into that really quickly. Um, the difference really between no solution and infinite solution, no solution obviously means that there is no possible number that could work as a solution for the problem. So if you have an equation uh, that has constants and variables, what no solution means is that no number could be replaced with that variable that you couldn't replace x with anything and make it work. But infinite solution mean that you could replace x with any number from negative infinity all the way to positive infinity and all the little tiny infinities in between. Every single number could work. So an example of no solution. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let me get my little draw tool out right here. So I have negative four times the quantity two x plus one equals negative eight x minus two. Now I'm gonna go through my steps to solve this to show you that this will not have any kind of solution. So my first step always is distribute if necessary. So I can do that. So I'm gonna multiply negative four times two x, which gives me negative eight x and then oops and then negative four times a positive one negative times a positive gives me negative four equals and then i bring down my negative eight x minus two now my next step as always is to combine like terms but as i look I have negative x, 8x minus 4 equals negative 8x minus 2. I don't have any terms on either the left or the right side of the equal sign that I can combine. So instead, I'm going to now try and solve. So if I get, if I try to take, I'm going to try to get this negative 4 over to the other side. So I'm going to add four, add a positive four to both sides of the equation. These will cancel out, leaving me with negative eight X equals negative eight X plus two. Now, since I got my constants over to one side, I'm gonna get all of my variables over to the other. So in order to get my negative eight X over to the left side, I have to add eight X to this side. And to this side. Negative eight X, and a positive ax, those cancel out. But negative and a po negative eight x, positive eight x, those cancel out as well, leaving me with I'd write it over here, zero equals two. Does zero equal two? Not in any math book that I've ever read. So since the, since these can't, this on the left side it canceled out and on the right side it canceled out, leaving me with zero plus two or zero and equals zero, this means that there is no solution. So I'm just gonna write a little ns. Or what you can also write is make a circle and you put a diagonal line through it. Let me do a, try and do a better one. That's the symbol for no solution. Now, you're not going to see those very often, but you are going to see them occasionally. So I wanted you to be aware that sometimes when you're trying to solve an equation, it's going to get to a point where you're like, 
I don't think this is going to work out. I want you to keep working on it, but sometimes zero will be the solution. Like it'll work out to where X equals zero. Zero can be a solution, but if you get to a situation like this where you have like zero equals two or four equals nine, four can never equal nine. So that would be a situation where there's no solution. Now, on the other side, I have infinite solution. So this is a, where every number could potentially work as a solution. So I'm going to start working through this equation to kind of give you an example of infinite solution. So like always, I'm just gonna do it, go ahead and put my left, right, so that you guys know what I'm talking about because it's very hard to point at things on the screen and have you really understand what I'm, what I'm talking about. So on the right side, I can distribute. So I do that first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring down my negative five minus nine X equals, and then three times a positive one gives me a three three times a negative three X gives me negative nine X. Sorry, that was my cat. Minus eight. So those of you that are watching this video, my cat just fell off. So I then want to combine my terms. So over on the left side, I don't have any, so, but on the right side, I have a positive three and this negative eight. So positive three plus negative eight, remember same signs add and keep, different signs subtract. So that's eight minus three and my, since eight minus, eight minus three and since the eight is negative, my answer is gonna be negative leaving me with a negative five. So I have this, can this canceled out, leaving me with negative nine X. And then if I bring down the left side, I have negative five minus nine X. So on the left side of my equation, I have a negative five and a negative nine X. On the right side of my equation, I have a negative five I have a negative five and a negative nine X. So what this means is that I could put any number in for X. I could replace this X with a one, with a two, with a three, with a four, with a six billion, and it's always going to work out. So my solution, I can either write the word infinite or just make that little infinity symbol, which looks like an eight that's been tilted onto its side. So, on this, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna leave this up here. This is going to be Lesson number one for this, no solution versus infinite solution. I'm not gonna give you any homework with this one, but I wanted you to see this uh, really because you're not gonna see it all that much, but there is a chance that you will see it. You will see lessons or you will see equations that either as you're working through, you're like, I don't think that there is going to be a possible solution for this. I want you to keep working through. And if you get to a point where it's like zero equals two, you will know that that means that there is no solution. But if you get to a point where you have negative nine X equals negative nine X or five equals five or 75 equals 75, that means that no matter what you put in there, anything is going to work out. Every single solution is possible. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you later.